Hello and welcome to another episode of Creative Clash, a live talent competition show featuring incredible Columbia students. I'm your host, Joshua Short, and we've got a very talented Columbia student and musician in the studio today. Here to perform her original song, All I Need, here's Serena Isabelli. I've got a lot to say, and it's been with me for a long time. Maybe someday I'll let you into my ever growing state of mind. And when I get the chance, I'll tell you I was wrong forever thinking you could be the hero all along. And now you call me back. To where you think I am comfortable, but all I am telling you that I don't need security. I don't need anything concrete. All I need is to be away from things that make me feel incomplete. I'm not going back to what you made me believe. I know better now. Now I need space from the suffocation you bring on me. I can't speak my mind without wondering if I'll break easily. You fed me lines and I hit them wholeheartedly. You fed me lines and I gave up on everything. And now you call me back to where you think I am comfortable and I I'm not going back to what you made me believe. I know better now than to put my life on repeat. I'm onto something new. Not you, you, you. I need to rely on me. Not you, you. So go back down the road where I found you. Oh, oh, oh. I don't need security. I don't need anything concrete. No, oh, oh, oh. all I need is to be away from things that make me. I'm not going back to what you made me believe. I know better now. Let's put my life on repeat. Life on Serena, Serena, amazing job. Viewers, be a part of the show and tweet us at Creative Clash with your questions and responses to that amazing performance. And after the break, your tweet could be featured on the show. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Bra. missing anything in the first aid kit. Yep. 
Did you go through the plan with the kids again? Yes. The more you prepare today, the more you'll be able to reduce the devastating effects of a tornado, an earthquake, a power outage, or any other disaster. Get a kit, make a plan, be informed. Visit ready.gov. What if a disaster strikes without warning? What if life as you know it has completely turned on its head? What if everything familiar becomes anything but? Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit, make a plan, be informed today. Welcome back live to Creative Clash, folks. Now that you've heard Serena's amazing music, let's talk to her about her awesome talent. Serena, thank you so much for hey, joining us. Hey, thanks for having me here, Josh. It was a, an amazing performance. How long did it take for you to write that song? Well, honestly, I had a gig last Thursday, um, and I had to have more originals for it. So a couple days prior, I just kind of sat down and wrote this song, and it took me like two or three days, but it was they were an extensive two or three days. Like, I sat down and I worked, you know. Uh, usually that's not the case, yeah. but for this one it was. And so. you remembered the lyrics and everything. Yeah. And you talked <laughs> yeah. about the performance. Was it at Uncommon Ground? Was that yeah. performance? Yeah, it was. Explain that event. Uh, it was amazing. It was up in Edgewater by Loyola, and the setting was so intimate. You know, you go up there and you sing your songs and you interact with the audience and you can see the looks on their faces and that honestly brings the passion back into it. You know, like you love it so much more when you can actually communicate with the audience, see their faces, you know, so I loved it, absolutely. I'm curious, the reception, you talked about looking at the audience's faces. What was it like performing? Was that the biggest audience that you performed in front of before? Um, no, actually it wasn't, um, but it was, it was small. It was really, you know, intimate, uh, close and stuff, but yeah, it was really cool. Though. That is amazing. Like, yeah. That is amazing. So you talk about um, that location, but you're actually from outside of Chicago, Crystal Lake, Illinois. Yes. And now you're here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. What is the difference? How have you adjusted and adapted to the metropolis, the, the big city, if you will? Um, it's actually re really interesting. Like, I've only been to Chicago a handful of times, actually, which is surprising because I'm only like an hour northwest, mm -hmm. you know? But um, musically, it's helped me a lot in high school to, you know, be a part of choir and be a part of the music scene in high school to come to Columbia and work in the city and stuff. I think that really prepared me really well. Talk about that, preparation so. when you're yeah. writing your music. Explain to me the process. Is it the melody that comes first? Is it the lyrics mm -hmm. that comes first? Is it intertwined? Um, honestly, it just depends. You know, sometimes I come up with the lyrics first and then write a melody around that and sit down on my guitar and figure out guitar parts. Sometimes I figure out a lick on the guitar and I write words to fit in with it. You know, it just depends. You yeah. talk about that guitar right there. I'm curious. <laughs> I've read that you've learned how to play it at the age of 16. Yeah. You're a freshman now, so that could have been many years ago. Mm -hmm. And you had two years of um, learning how to play and then you just mm -hmm. threw out the rest of that and said, I Yeah, yeah, I was like, no. <laughs> Explain to me, how is it difficult playing the guitar and singing simultaneously? Honestly, it was in the beginning. Um, you know, I went to lessons so I could learn the basics, the chords, so I could read tabs and stuff. But um, then from there, I went on to tutorials and stuff, and learning that and then applying it to my singing, I think it really helped me grow as a musician. But it definitely took me a while to learn to sing and play, but I think it's worth it. So. Staying with your growth as a musician, let's talk about Columbia a little bit more. Mm -hmm. How has the reception been here your first year? I know you participated in a couple of events here, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, describe that a little bit. Uh, well, I think uh, I hopefully have been received really well, you know. Um, a lot of my friends are really supportive of me and they come out to my shows and stuff. Um, I just really want to share my music with as much people as I can, you know, especially a Columbia people. I love working with other people. Um, so, you know, as much as I can get my music out there would be awesome. How have you, uh, let me put it this way, who have you been compared to? I know your friends probably say, oh, you sound just like this person or this mm -hmm. person. Who have you been compared to that you can say, ah, maybe we got something there? Uh, well, there's a YouTube star, Tori Kelly. Okay. Um, they say that I sound a lot like her. Okay. Uh, she's incredible, honestly. If you don't know her, look her up. She's mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Let's talk about your musical influences a little bit. Yeah, sure. Who do you look up to musically? 
whether it be a male artist, a female artist, who do you look up to and what style of music specifically entices you? Mm -hmm. um, I really like R&B, soul kind of stuff. So I've recently been listening to um, Alan Stone. He's an R&B soul artist. Um, and I really love him. I love Joss Stone. I love Amy Winehouse, Sam Smith. You know, I love the like the kind of feel that they bring to their music. Mm -hmm. So you I really said, look up to them. You said All I Need took you about uh, four or uh, two days, extensive two days yeah, to write. Yeah, yeah, extensive. <laughs> Normally, how long does it take you to write a song and then actually produce it and say, oh, this is good? A while. Really? <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I'm so picky about my music. So I always go back to lyrics, change the lyrics, change something musically. But mm -hmm. it could be the course of a few weeks. It, you know, it just varies. Mm -hmm. And um, one more question I want to ask you before we get to our next segment. You actually participated in the choir at your high school, correct? Yeah. How has that catapulted you to where you are right now? It's helped so much. I learned a lot about music theory, about working with other people uh, vocally, and it's honestly prepared me so much, you know, to come into this environment and work with everyone. So Amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Viewers, you've been at home tweeting the show throughout the entire broadcast. And I'm curious, this is going to be very fun, actually. You may like this. We have a couple of questions for you from our Twitter followers. They've oh. been using at Creative Clash the entire show. Now let's throw it over to our social media producer, Alexis, who's going to give us the lowdown on what they had to say about your performance. Alexis, what do we have? Hi, Josh. Our first tweet is from Kat. If you could perform anywhere, where would it be? I would perform Madison Square Garden in a heartbeat. Really? God, I would love to be in a huge venue, you know, like United Center, Allstate Arena, any of those places. I just, I would kill for that. But you said Madison Square Garden. That's the mecca oh, of stadiums. Oh, that is the mecca. That's yeah. where you want to, you want to actually go there. Yes, absolutely. Really? really? You know, big of a venue as possible. Wow, that's amazing. That is awesome. Yeah. We have a couple more questions, Alexis? Um, one from Claire. What's the last concert you, you went to and did they inspire you in any way? Uh, the last concert I went to was on my birthday, actually, Ariana Grande, and she is a huge inspiration for me. I love really? her voice, you know, the stamina she has behind her voice. I love her music, and I would hope to amount to that level of success, you know, mm -hmm. as an artist. I love her so much. I'm so inspired by her. At that concert, did she fall off the stage? No. Okay. Surprisingly. Perfect. No. Perfect. I, just, I know, just right? Check it out for <laughs> Wow. We have a couple more, Alexis. Uh, one from Clay. What's your favorite vegetable? My favorite vegetable is probably the zucchini. Zucchini. Yeah, it's really good. You fry it up. Yeah. You actually eat fried zucchini. Yeah. Are you, you a healthy eater? You don't. Are you a healthy eater or yeah. are you a junk eater? Yeah, I eat really healthy. Really? I try. It's oh, like half and half, you know. Oh. So it's a toss up. It just depends. Definitely. 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 Yeah. Uh, we got one more minute. I think we have time for one more question. Oh, uh, we have another one from Kat. What was the best gig you've ever played at? The best gig I've ever played at. Well. I'm actually in a rock band too. Mm -hmm. They're called Chasing Skylines. Um, we opened up for Flyleaf. I don't know if you know who Flyleaf is. Um, and that audience was huge. It was packed in there, and we like opened up for them, and it was incredible. Like the environment was incredible too. And we're getting to open up for Red Jumpsuit Apparatus on Wednesday, which is going to be incredible. Also, uh, you know they bring a lot of people because of their hype and stuff. But the energy. It's just insane, and I love it. Finally, it, can you do it in about 10 seconds? I want you to look right into this camera and tell yep. people at home how they can look at a lot of your projects online. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find me on Facebook. I have a music page, facebook.com slash Serena Isabelli. There's links to my YouTube. You can look me up on SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, and I post all my gigs to my Facebook page. So. That was 9.5 seconds. That was awesome! Great. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for today. Huge thanks for Serena Isabelli for coming in and showcasing her beautiful talent. If you loved her performance, then make sure to vote for her at tinyurl.com forward slash vote creative class. She can't win without your vote. And be sure to tune in for our next show Monday, April 6th at 11 a.m. Central time to see another talented Columbia student. Until then, I'm your host, Joshua Short. Thank you for watching.